Hello, today we are going to discuss about linear mode power supply. In my in future video, we will talk about switch mode power supply. So today, what I mean by linear mode power supply? Okay, linear mode power supply or LMPS. Okay, which stand for sorry for my writing is very bad and the stylus pen is not sensitive enough. Okay, linear mode power supply. Okay, so basically it convert the AC voltage to DC voltage. All right, there is another form of power supply we call it switch mode power supply that we will discuss in future. So the today discussion is only the very basic, uh, fundamental. Of the principle of operation of linear mode power supply. Okay, so this AC waveform is from our single phase power supply. It will go through a transformer. So this is a transformer section. This transformer is a step step down transformer where it will reduce the AC voltage. Okay, this is a primary side. This is a secondary side of the transformer. So as you know, when the turn is lower than the number of turn is lower than the number of turn of the primary side, the secondary AC voltage will be reduced. All right, you can see the amplitude is lower compared to the original AC waveform. All right, and then this step down AC voltage will go through this rectifier section, which is a full bridge rectifier and it consists of four diodes one two three four the purpose of rectifier is to rectify or convert ac waveform to dc waveform as you can see here how do we know ac and dc okay if we draw a horizontal line here the waveform will shift from positive cycle half cycle to negative half cycle in other words the waveform will change direction between positive to negative and from negative to positive direction okay this is called waveform same for this waveform this is considered dc waveform okay in contrast to ac dc waveform only move in one direction for this case is positive direction as you can see all the half cycle it only occur in one positive direction. This is also DC, as it occur in one direction or positive direction. This is a constant DC voltage. Okay, so this DC causation waveform will go to the filter section. We see this one, a filtering capacitor. This is a DC capacitor. Okay, this is positive. This is negative. Why we use a DC capacitor? Because the waveform here is a DC waveform. If we want to use a capacitor here, then we need to use an AC capacitor, okay, such as ceramic capacitor. As for the DC capacitor, okay, example of it is a electrolytic capacitor or tantalum capacitor. Okay. This Filtering capacitor is used to filter or to smoothen the pulsation voltage or to smoothen any other noise. Okay, so it becomes this constant DC voltage. In theory, this is the constant voltage, but in reality, it, it has some little noise or ripple. Alright, okay, then it will go through this section what we call is a regulator okay regulator is to regulate the output voltage so that the output voltage that we get here is constant let's say 5 volt it always will remain at 5 volt if let's say the output voltage is 10 volt that means it will always maintain at the 10 volt all right so how this circuit work is very simple during the positive half cycle all right, this, let's assume the positive is here and the negative polarity is here. So the current will 
flow through this way and then it will flow through this way instead of here because this is reverse bias this is forward bias forward bias mean the positive or the anode of the diode connected to the positive polarity of the power supply while the negative side or the cathode side of the diode is connected to the negative side of the power supply all right this is reverse bias okay reverse bias is just the opposite from forward bias so the, how do we understand this you can see the arrow the arrow of the diode is pointing this way so the current will flow through this way okay it cannot flow through this way because it's in the opposite direction of the arrow so the current will flow through here all right after that it cannot flow through here because reverse bias so it will flow through here and then here and then here then here it will flow through here all right and then to this negative side of the power supply all right <clears throat> then during the another during the negative half cycle this polarity will change from let's say let me use a uh, other color maybe red color to represent the polarity this will change to positive and this will change to negative polarity so the current will flow through this side it cannot flow through here because of reverse bias it will flow through this side and then here and then here and then it will flow through here here then it will flow through here and go back to the negative side of the power supply if you try to observe the output section here all right you can see the direction of the current at this positive half cycle and negative half cycle is always remain at the same direction that's why you will get the this pulsation waveform where the, the cycle is always positive because during the AC half cycle you get this positive output voltage which is this one and then during the negative half cycle you also getting the same positive output voltage in this section that's why you get the another positive half cycle since the direction is the same so this is considered DC voltage okay so as you know when the current flow through the capacitor this capacitor will charge right okay it will when the voltage increase it will charge right when it decrease right it will discharge all right then it will repeat again when you increase the voltage it will charge decrease it will discharge and so on all right of course if increase very fast uh, this cycle is very fast the end result is almost like this one theoretically you will get a very constant dc voltage but practically it should be like that but it's okay so this is a basic principle operation of the linear mode power supply thanks